Welcome to African Mavericks. In this episode, we'll be exploring the life and legacy of Alessandro de Medici, the Black Prince of Florence. Alessandro de Medici was born in the early 16th century in Florence, Italy, and he was the son of a black servant named Simonetta da Colavecchio and a member of the powerful Medici family named Giuliano de Medici. Despite his mixed-race heritage, Alessandro was raised as a member of the Medici family, and he received an education that was fitting for a nobleman. He was particularly skilled in the arts of diplomacy and statecraft, and he excelled in his studies. As a young man, Alessandro played a prominent role in the politics of Florence, and he quickly rose to power and influence within the city. He served as a diplomat and ambassador for the Medici family, and he was well respected by his peers. In 1530, he was appointed as the governor of Florence, and he served in this role for two years before being appointed as the Duke of Florence in 1532. Alessandro's appointment as the Duke of Florence was a significant achievement and it marked a milestone in the history of race relations in Europe. He was the first black ruler of a European city, and his appointment was seen as a sign of the Medici family's commitment to diversity and inclusion. During his reign as Duke of Florence, Alessandro implemented a number of reforms that improved the lives of the people of the city. He worked to reduce taxes and to create more opportunities for trade and commerce, and he supported the arts and sciences by patronizing a number of famous writers, artists, and scholars. He was also a strong advocate for peace and stability, and he worked to maintain good relations with other European powers. Despite his many achievements, Alessandro faced a number of challenges during his reign as Duke of Florence. He faced opposition from other members of the Medici family who were jealous of his power and resentful of his mixed-race heritage. He was also faced with a number of external threats, including the threat of invasion from other European powers. Despite these challenges, Alessandro remained determined to rule justly and to serve the best interests of the people of Florence. He worked tirelessly to defend the city from external threats, and he worked to improve the lives of the people he governed. He was known for his intelligence and his diplomatic skills, and he was able to navigate the complex political landscape of Renaissance Italy with great success. Alessandro de Medici is remembered as a pioneering and influential leader, and his legacy as the Black Prince of Florence lives on to this day. His life and achievements are an important part of the history of Florence, and he serves as an inspiration for those who strive to overcome adversity and make a positive impact on the world. Alessandro's reign as Duke of Florence came to an end in 1537, when he was assassinated by his own cousin, Lorenzino de Medici. Lorenzino was motivated by a desire for power and by his own resentment of Alessandro's mixed-race heritage. Despite this tragic end, Alessandro's legacy as a pioneering and influential leader lives on to this day. In conclusion, Alessandro de Medici was a remarkable figure in the history of Europe. He was the first black ruler of a European city and he made significant contributions to the development and prosperity of Florence. His life and legacy are an inspiration for all of us, and he serves as a reminder of the importance of diversity, inclusion, and determination in overcoming adversity. Thank you for joining us on African Mavericks. We hope you enjoyed learning about the life and legacy of Alessandro de Medici, the Black Prince of Florence.